Four of the five remaining undefeated teams play this weekend. But how many of them will stay undefeated by the end of week four of the 2016 NFL regular season? Shocking teams are undefeated, such as the Vikings and the Eagles. The Vikings have gone through so much in the past month. Teddy Bridgewater out for the season. Adrian Peterson out indefinitely. The Eagles, nobody was really anticipating the Eagles to do much this year. In fact, many of them were really thinking that they would be one of, if not the worst teams in the league. And the Ravens, they're shocked me undefeated as well. I personally thought that they could give the Browns a run for the money of being the worst in the AFC North. But clearly they are 3-0. and But can these teams remain undefeated? Well, the Eagles will because they have a bye week, along with the Packers. But still, the 30 other teams in the NFL are in action this weekend. So let's get started. Let's start with the Thursday night game with the Dolphins and the Bengals. Now the Bengals are really trying to come off a really kind of humiliating loss against Denver at home. And the Dolphins are trying to come back. They're trying to get some momentum off the overtime win against Cleveland last week. I ultimately like the Bengals in this one, though. I just think that Andy Dalton is going to just really throw that football out there, just expose the Dolphins' secondary. I mean, I just don't think the Dolphins really have much of a shot in this one. Although I do think Ryan Tannehill can improve this year. Still, there's still a lot of season left, but you just got to use Jarvis Landry. He's got to just... And all those other receivers, you got to just utilize them. So I see the Bengals winning this one. I'm going to say it's going to be kind of a blowout. I'll be surprised the Dolphins actually can compete in this one. All right, Colts and Jaguars. Now the Colts are as well trying to gain momentum after a late, after a late minute touchdown to beat the Chargers and the Jaguars. We're just looking to get some confidence going. One of the teams that are 0-3. They really need to get a win. They thought they had it against the Ravens, but a, they, a field goal was blocked setting up for the Ravens' game-winning field goal. I like the Colts in this one. I just think Andrew Luck. I think it's, I think Andrew Luck's going to be a difference maker. Although I think the Jaguars are going to be able to put some points on the board. I like the Colts to pull it off in the end. I'm going to say 30-27. to Texans and the Titans. I like the Texans. I think the Texans will really rebound after that humiliating loss last Thursday against the Patriots with third-string quarterback Jacoby Brissett. So I like the Texans to win this one huge. All right, Browns and the Redskins. Now, this would have been RG3's homecoming if he was playing. But there is a possibility that Terrell Pryor is going to be the quarterback for the Browns. So this would be the sixth consecutive game dating back to last season that the Cleveland Browns have had a different quarterback. Again, things are just disastrous in Cleveland, and this is really fitting for the Redskins. It's just very fortuitous, as the Redskins are coming off a big win against the Giants last week, and they get the Browns, probably the worst team in the league right now. So I like the Redskins to make it two in a row. I like them to win huge. Seahawks and the Jets. The Jets trying to come off kind of, kind of an embarrassing loss to the Chiefs. Many thought they had this victory. Many thought the Jets could really have a huge impact this year. And they still can do that. But the Seahawks, I think last week against the 49ers, I just think that was just the spark that Russell Wilson and the Seahawks needed. I like when I won this one against the Jets. I just think the Jets are just unfortunately, I just think the, the schedule right now for the Jets is not really timely at this moment. So I like the Seahawks to win. Though I do want to see the Jets put to put up a great fight against these Seahawks. I just think that Seattle is getting their confidence back slowly but surely. Although I won't be surprised if the Jets end up winning. Bills versus the Patriots. So this is the last game for the Patriots. Will not have Tom Brady on there as he will come back next week against the Browns. But I like the Patriots to win this one. It looks like we're going to see Jacoby Brissett out there. And if something happens to Jacoby Brissett, 
We're going to see Julian Edelman at quarterback, most likely. But I'm going to take New England in this one. Although the Bills did have an impressive win against the Cardinals last week. I just like New England. I just think nothing is phasing this New England Patriots team. Panthers versus the Atlanta Falcons. Call the upset. Let's go with Atlanta. So this is just a huge game, not only for Atlanta, but for Carolina as well. I just think Carolina is just looking so depleted right now. And it's really working for the Falcons. In fact, I will admit that as soon as I saw that week one loss against Tampa Bay and I looked at the schedule ahead, I started to panic. Because I unfortunately thought the Falcons would end up starting 0-6 because the Raiders are a really, are really good team. They're underrated. I mean, the Saints, they really shine at home. And the Panthers, Seahawks, Broncos all on a stretch. I thought they are going to start the season off like 0-1-6. But now I think the Falcons are just getting their groove back. And I think that the Falcons can if I think the Falcons can pull this off, they can hang on against the Saints. Because this is actually on Monday night. It's at halftime right now. But if they can hang on, I think they have the momentum to beat Carolina. Raiders versus the Ravens. I'm picking the Raiders to win this one. I just think the Ravens are finally playing a team that's for real. Because the Ravens have played the Bills, they've played the Browns, and they've played the Jaguars. And now that they're playing a real team like the Raiders, I just think this is the week that they go down. So I'm picking the Raiders. Lions versus Bears. Both these teams are just really struggling right now. The Lions barely won in week one. Heartbroken in week two, and heartbroken this, this week as well. But I'm picking the Bears to win this one. I just think that the Bears may be shorthanded, but I think that running game of Jeremy Langford and Jordan Howard, I think that's going to be the difference. I see the Bears just completely using that ground attack because that's their weapon right now. I did say that the Bears should just tank for Miles Garrett, but I just think they can get some wins together really quickly. Broncos versus the Buccaneers. I'm going to pick the Broncos. I just... I just like that Denver defense. Just many were speculating it was going to be so much better than last year. And I think the Broncos should have no problem against the Buccaneers. Rams versus Cardinals. Calling another upset. I'm picking the Rams over these Cardinals. The Cardinals just kind of, maybe they look a little depleted after that humiliating loss against Buffalo. And I like that to carry over into this week. I like the Rams to just take advantage. Because the Rams have momentum as well. After scoring their first offensive touchdown of the year, I expect them to just completely, just completely upset these Cardinals. Saints versus the Chargers. I'm going to pick the Saints to win this one. Many think that the Saints can't beat Atlanta tonight. Again, this being recorded on Monday night. I'm going to pick, I think the Saints probably, some people think the Saints won't have a season. But I think they still can, and I like them to start off on the right track against these Chargers. I just think this is going to be a highly offensive type of game. Defense will be non-existent. I'm going to go with, I'm going to go, I don't know. NFL games aren't, aren't really in the high 40s, but I'm going to say about 38 to 35. I think the difference is going to be a last second field goal. Cowboys and 49ers. I'm picking the Cowboys. I just think the Cowboys just have... The confidence now after that heartbreaking loss against the Giants in Week 1. I think Dak Prescott's starting to figure out. Ezekiel Elliott's starting to figure it out. I think nothing's stopping the Cowboys right now. As I like him to just completely trounce on these 49ers. Chiefs versus the Steelers. Steelers coming off an embarrassing loss against, against the Eagles. The Chiefs coming off a big win against the Jets. I just have to go with the Sears in this one because Le'Veon Bill is returning this week. Him, Antonio Brown, and Big Ben. I don't think anything's going to stop them as I like the Steelers. I'm going to say they're going to beat the Chiefs by double digits. 
I'm going to say 35-24. All right, finally, the Monday night game, the Giants versus the Vikings. Well, the last two weeks I've went against the Vikings. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Not having a third time, I'm picking these Vikings to beat the Giants. I just think the Vikings just have a lot to play for. They know what they're capable of. They're coming off upset wins against the Packers and the Panthers. And I like him to upset the Giants. Although it, I think the Vikings are most likely going to be favored in this one. But I just think it's going to be technically an upset. I like Trey. I look for Trey Wayne's to just completely try to cover Odell. I think Trey Wayne's going to honestly succeed at points, but points Odell will get some stats. Odell's going to get Odell-type numbers, as we saw last week. He's finally getting back to his groove, but I don't think it will be enough. I think the Vikings' defense, that front seven, I think that's going to be a huge difference. I think they're going to get to Eli Manning. I think they're going to get uh, five sacks, maybe two forced fumbles, and an interception. So that's going to do it for your Week 4 NFL projections. Like and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with your NFL friends, your NFL fans' friends, or... Yeah. Let me say it again. Share this video with your friends that are NFL fans. Just share this in general. It's put me on the map. I'm gaining subscribers day by day. I'm just astonished by how far that I have come so far. Anyway, that's going to do it. Have a wonderful day, everybody. I will see you next time.